my channel so as it's pretty obvious I got my hair cut and I love it I'm obsessed with it it's so much lighter so much easier to manage and it's short I had hair literally down past under my boob area my hair was really really long and I really thought that I would miss my hair and be like kind of devastated once I chopped it but honestly, I have not felt that way, not once. So I am super, super excited for the summer now. I feel ready for summer. And just to have this new hair just makes me kind of feel like a new person or something. So I'm kind of obsessed. I kind of, but anyways, today's video is not about my hair, but I just thought I would update you guys and tell you guys, you know, start watching the videos and realize, um, is that the same girl that I've been watching? Because I feel like I look a lot different. <laughs> this video is going to be another cleaning video. Surprise, surprise. So today I'm going to share with you guys my spring cleaning routine. Yeah, I've done all kind of routine videos. I've done morning routines. I've done cleaning routines. I've done bedroom routines, bathroom routines, uh, camper routines. I've done just about every freaking routine that there is to mankind on this earth, <laughs> on this channel, I feel like. But um, I haven't really done like a spring cleaning like a routine of things that I clean uh, once a year during the springtime that's what I really like to do like a lot of deep cleaning and just tackle things that I don't normally do every week or anything uh, some of the things in this video you will see me doing I am going to be doing a voiceover for this video just to make it a little different for you guys because I've been doing a lot of speed ups lately and I just decided that for this video I want to do it differently and I want to explain to you guys what I'm doing in the video and just to tell you guys like what I do every couple months and then there's of course a couple things that I only do once a year but that's like really rare but um, I will explain in the video. If you guys have any more ideas on what I can do as far as cleaning or routines that you guys would like to see from me you might also want to go over and check out my beauty channel because there will be a new morning routine on that channel. Um, hopefully this weekend I will have that posted. I'm actually going to try to film it tomorrow morning because my husband has to work and it's like perfect opportunity to me just to kind of have a morning to myself where I don't have to worry about doing a lot of things because as most of you guys know, Friday, which is today, I do all my cleaning out front and I was busy all day today. So um, yeah, and also making this video today as well. So also if you notice in this video that my hair is like different, it's because that it was cut a little bit longer than this before I cut all my long hair off it was a little longer and then I had my brother's girlfriend Chelsea she's the one that cut my hair I had her cut it a little bit shorter so you will notice in a few clips if you're wondering like wait her hair looks a little odd and it doesn't look like it does now that's because I just recently chopped it before filming this intro so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling and I hope you guys enjoy this spring cleaning routine and let's go ahead and get into it so I don't know about you guys, but I don't do this all the time, but let me just tell you, I definitely have to do it every couple months or so. Um, honestly guys, the way we eat food in the living room, I should probably do this every week, but I'm too lazy to. So what I'm doing is just moving back my couch and then taking my brush to the vacuum and getting up all the food crumbs and the dust is unreal underneath my couch. Like especially this part where like the hardwood floor is. The other part isn't as bad because there's carpet behind the couch, but this part is really, really bad. So the next thing that I'm going to do after just getting all the crumbs and stuff up is I'm going to take a little bit of vinegar water on my rag and I'm just going to be mopping that up. And yeah, I just soaked the rag pretty good because <laughs> I want to get the floor nice and like cleaned up and this works wonders on my floor I feel like um, I wasn't so sure when I first did this when I first started using vinegar water on my floor that it works so well but it really does do a good job even on, on my laminate floor so now moving out mine and my husband's chair that we sit in oh my god you guys I'm so embarrassed to show you guys this but it's really really disgusting and it's really really dirty behind the couch so don't judge me yeah look at all that food and crumbs and just nastiness that I really really hate and I'm embarrassed to show you guys but yeah so I'm just gonna be vacuuming that up and I actually had to empty my vacuum out um, you don't see me do it in this clip but I got some stuff stuck up in there I had to clean it out so like it's been a long day for me and I've been doing nothing but cleaning all day so um, yeah I'm just gonna vacuum my crumbs up 
So I don't, this is definitely one of those things that I do once a year. So I like to take my curtains down and I'm going to wash them. Now I didn't do all of my curtains today. Obviously I'm just doing the ones out here in this video to show you guys. But I will be in like the next couple of weeks getting all my cur curtains washed up. Because obviously if I showed you guys every room in the house, um, that would be like probably two hour video. And there's no way I could ever get that uploaded for you guys. So I'm going to just throw my clothes, or my clothes. Yeah guys, curtains, my new clothes. <laughs> my curtains in the wash. And if you have like really sheer or like easy ripped curtains, I recommend washing them on like delicate or something. So obviously you guys know that I just recently did a video on spring cleaning all my windows. So if you guys haven't seen it, you guys should go watch it. But I definitely do this once or twice a year. I like to try to hit my windows um, before winter comes too. So I like to do it in the fall time. But guys, I don't go out and wash my windows every week. Uh, the heck with that and I ain't got time for that. I do keep up with these doors though that you see me doing in this video. I do like to clean my doors because we look out them all the time and we go out them all the time so fingerprints will manage to hit them and the pollen is really bad where I live right now so they're just always covered in like pollen and dust and dirt and then my cat, Yellow, likes to scratch his paws on the doors to know that he's out there so we can let him in. So yeah, they kind of get muddy sometimes from that but I just like to keep up with the doors and then I don't really worry about the rest of the windows because we have blinds covering them and curtains and we don't ever look at them. So yeah, I do that like twice a year. guys should let me know if you guys like the style of me cleaning or if you guys prefer the speed up motion of me cleaning I'm heading to the baseboards which I don't do these all the time I have a full video on how I clean them if you want to watch that too wiping my wood and up the top above my doors this is definitely a once a year type of thing for me uh, the baseboards I do try to keep up with those because you can see dust and hair and cat hair on them that drives me crazy so for my blinds cleaning um, I really wanted to take them outside and hose them off because I feel like that would be in a good way I saw on Pinterest you can put them in a bathtub but guys I was not I couldn't even figure out how to take mine down so I just took some vinegar water on a rag and I had some fly spots on my blinds um, because they're white and you can see like everything. So like I just took a microfiber cloth with some vinegar water and just dusted my blinds out in the living room really really good. They really needed this and I got a lot of fly spots off and they look so much better now. So if you're just looking for an easy route I recommend doing this or the second way I like to do it is to take my vacuum cleaner and take like the little attachment piece that I have which if you guys watch some of my old routines you would see me use it in my bedroom blinds because those are black and those show the worst dust you've ever seen in your life. I have to keep up with those like every couple weeks because they get really dusty and you can see it. The white isn't as bad because you can't see the dust but trust me these blinds that I'm cleaning in this video were really really dusty and really dirty. So this is definitely like a win once a year type of thing for me for these blinds. I don't keep up with this stuff all the time just because I don't ever have time to. So now I'm wiping down my doors. These really need done in my house. Just wiping the wood down because believe it or not guys everything gets dusty. Like you wouldn't think that by looking at it especially if you have white walls because you can't see the dust. But even my walls need wiped down and I still haven't even got to doing that. But um, I am trying to wipe down my wood and stuff because I can, when the sun hits the, the wood you can see the dust on it. So I'm just trying to hit that with some vinegar water and a microfiber cloth really really well 
And now I'm heading into something that I definitely don't do all the time, so this is once a year for me, like spring cleaning, is I'm trying to scrub my door frames down. Like, me and my husband really wanted to paint these because they're kind of like an off gray color, like all my doors are. Um, and we just kind of wanted to, it's like a metal, I don't know what to call it guys, but it's just my door really needed clean. We had fingerprints around where the doorknob is from coming in, a lot of dirt and grime and like grease build up and just like fly spots and just, a, you would, it's hard to believe like all the nasty stuff that ends up on your door frames and on everything in your house if you don't keep up with it. So I'm just giving that a good scrub down with vinegar water and I love vinegar water guys. I use it for everything. I think it does a really good job. So you guys will also have to let me know if you like me doing these voiceovers. I know I got a lot of positive feedback from people telling me before that they like the voiceover. The only problem is I have a hard time doing them with the speed up videos because I kind of have to speed my clips up first and then I have a hard time with it lagging and trying to do a voiceover. It's really difficult for me. But anyways, I am now going to be drying my curtains and I'm putting them on like a low dry mode because I don't know, I was afraid they'd shrink or something. So obviously we keep up with our porches. I say obviously a lot. I'm really sorry about that. I repeat myself a lot and I know that. But um, I'm also really tired right now. If you guys can't tell, I'm not making a lot of sense. So I hope I'm explaining this well enough for you guys. But I'm just sweeping off my porches. We like to do this oh, probably at least once a week because uh, we get a lot of leaves and debris and just like pollen is so bad, guys. It's unbelievable. I was only out here for probably like five to 10 minutes and I started sneezing like crazy. And I'm really, really just ready for the pollen to be done with because it's driving my allergies insane. So yeah, we just like to sweep our porch off and keep it nice and clean. I hate when there's like bugs. Like right now we got these beetle bugs and they're just all over this side of this porch and I just like to sweep those off and any kind of stuff. Like as you can tell, my porches weren't that bad because we keep up with those. So that's like once a week thing. Now this part here, guys, I'm embarrassed to show you guys underneath my oven where the fan is and like the little hood i don't even know what you even call this the hood of your oven i don't even know it's disgusting and yes it was like this before i moved into the house i did not let it get that bad i've just been dreading cleaning it and i'm using a brillo pad or sos pad if you guys are wondering with some dish soap hot water and i'm just going to get up there and scrub that really well and guys i'm still not done with this project because i had to actually leave during this video but um, yeah, I tried to get it as best as I could of what I didn't get before and it's starting to look better and also took some vinegar water on a rag to wipe up the excess soap and stuff to make it look nice and clean and deodorize it a little bit. But this is a work in progress and I absolutely hate cleaning this. This is one of the things that I definitely dread cleaning. <laughs> Yuck! Disgusting! So, it looks a little better. Still got some work to do. This has been a work in progress. I'm telling you guys, this has been the most annoying, disgusting, like, something I've been putting off and avoiding, avoid, avoiding? Gosh, I can't talk. Avoid, avoiding cleaning because it's just so bad where I don't, I'm the type of person like that I keep up with my house to where I uh, don't have to really scrub anything because I clean my house once a week and it's easier to keep up with it that way where I don't have to scrub like anything really, really hard for a long period of time. I've been doing this now for about 20 minutes and I gotta go so um, I'm just... I'm so done with this shit. You guys don't even know how how much this aggravates me. And to know that it's like so dirty. Like the good thing is when you walk in my kitchen, you can't see it unless you would actually stick your head up under there and look. So it's not something that somebody would notice if they like walk through my kitchen because you can't see it. And you know, it's pretty obvious you just can't see unless you look up under there. But I know that it's there. It's been bothering me for ever since we moved into this place. And I've been dreading cleaning it. I actually tried to clean it one other time and I actually got electrocuted because I didn't know the light thing was still on because I took the bulb out and like left it on or something like an idiot. 
and I got electrocuted so I was like I'm done with that I ain't never doing that again but then I figured out that I just needed to turn the light thing off so I did okay today I didn't get electrocuted thank god but I wanted to tell you guys that really quick and just let you guys know that this is going to be another project that I have to finish up but it is something that I would keep up with a lot more if um like it was really unfair because when I moved in, like that's what I got stuck with and I was dreading doing it because my hand hurts after a while anyways because I have like a little cyst in my wrist and so after scrubbing for a while my hand kills me. So this is one of those jobs that I dread. Any kind of like scrubbing really really hard to clean something, fuck that. Keep up with it and that way you don't have to scrub and kill yourself. So that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you guys love these cleaning routines and want to see more of these types of videos. Subscribe to my channel. There will be a red button down there. If you just click that, you'll be notified when I post. And that's every single week. So you should subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I do now have over 1,000 of you guys subscribed to me. And it feels amazing to have that many followers and supporters for YouTube because I do love making these videos for you guys and I just wanted to say real quickly that it feels so good to have so many of you guys love these cleaning videos because it also has helped me get so, get motivated to clean things in my house that I don't always clean and just to take the time for you guys and film it for you and to be able to get it done feels so good I feel so accomplished with all the cleaning that I've done just in the past year just because I've been making these videos for you guys I would have never probably just took time out and clean things if I wasn't doing YouTube I mean I'm a pretty clean person but some of these things I just feel so motivated and excited to do whenever I know that you guys are going to enjoy the video I know that I can feel myself cleaning and just it makes me feel pumped and motivated and I love it so a lot of you guys were leaving comments saying that I have motivated you which makes me feel so good that I have helped somebody out there in the world and I just want to tell you guys that you guys have motivated me to keep on with my channel and to keep giving you guys what you want but just to also it's helped me just make my house even cleaner than it's ever been which is sad honestly because your house is meant to live in I feel like and when people come over to my house, I want to be honest with you guys, I don't make people take their shoes off. And we wear, me and my husband wear our shoes through my house all the time. I am not, so I don't also want these videos to come across like I'm some kind of priss and some kind of level of a clean freak that I can't stand any kind of dirt in my house. Because we do live here and I think everybody should kind of feel that way about their home. But, so yeah, I didn't want to come across as like that like my house is perfectly clean all the time because it's not and I don't expect it to be but yeah I don't know where I'm gonna go I'm gonna start rambling so I'm gonna end this video but I hope you guys really did enjoy it and if you guys have any requests leave them down below and I would love to respond to you guys I love hearing all your guys nice comments and everything and I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>